so excited to share the fool's journey in tarot today and offer profound insight and even the benefits that you can apply to your own life. Today, I'm going to share the top 10 reasons why diving into this symbolic narrative can truly help you as you develop your own intuition. Are you ready? Let's do this. Number one, personal growth and self-discovery. If you never do tarot for another soul, but just use it for yourself, please know that the fool's journey is a metaphor for the human experience. It represents a path of growth and through self-discovery. Studying this for yourself can help you understand your own life's journey, including those challenges and those triumphant times that encourages you just to develop personally. (laughs) Number two, emotional resilience. By exploring the ups and downs that the fool faced, you can also learn how to navigate your own emotional highs and lows with greater resilience. Understanding that setbacks are truly just part of the larger journey or the human experience, when you witness the fool go through the ups and downs and and the how-tos and what he did to get out of it, you too can apply these beautiful, emotional, resilient tips to your own life. Moving on, number three, decision making. The Fool's journey illustrates the importance of making choices, he's given many of them, and the consequences to his choices that followed. This can help you become more mindful and even deliberate to your own decision making process. Number four, understanding the different archetypes. Archetypes are such a key and so rich in the way in which people approach their life. You see in tarot, each card in the fool's journey represents a different archetype, such as the magician, the law of attraction, the high priestess, the intuitive, the emperor, the leader, and so on. Recognizing these different archetypes and how they apply to your own life can provide deeper insights into your own behavior and even those relationships around you. Number five, enhancing your own intuition. When I first started reading tarot, I used it just to develop my intuition. In fact, I might have become a little addicted to just the cards. And then one day I decided to put the cards away and just to trust my intuition, realizing that all that deep dive had truly set me up to succeed. Studying tarot can enhance your own intuitive abilities. The symbolism and the imagery of these beautiful cards can truly help you. They can tap into your own subconscious mind and foster a deeper connection with your own intuition. Number six, coping with change. You see, the fool's journey includes so many transitions and even transformations. He ref- he's reflecting on life's changes constantly in this story. Understanding this can help you cope and even embrace your own life changes, seeing them as opportunities for spiritual growth. Number seven, mindfulness and reflection. The process of learning and interpreting tarot requires mindfulness and reflection, and most certainly patience. The practice can encourage you to slow down, to think deeply, and to reflect on your experiences and even your current state of being. Number eight, problem solving and even solving skills. These narratives and these scenarios presented in the fool's journey will often involve overcoming obstacles. These can enhance your problem solving skills, encouraging you to be creative and strategic, thinking in and overcoming your own life's challenges. Number nine, connecting with others. If you pick up a deck and all you do is read for friends or family or yourself, I truly will tell you, you will become connected. Tarot is a great tool for connecting with others, whether through shared learning experiences or providing readings. This can foster empathy, compassion, understanding, and deeper interpersonal connections. And lastly, number 10, 
The Fool's Journey will help you on your own spiritual insight. For many, tarot is just a tool. The Fool's Journey can provide spiritual insights and guidance, helping you to explore and deepen your own spiritual beliefs and practices. I hope you enjoyed today's top 10 tips for why you should understand tarot and the fool's journey. If you'd like to learn more about the fool's journey, watch these videos upon the screen right now. I have put so much time and energy into sharing this practice with many of you on my channel. Till next video, thanks again for listening. Have a great day. Namaste.